So welcome. Thank you very much for joining us today, Yamalam. It's really good to have you here. Uh, we're going to be asking you some questions in your role as the author of the Big Data Framework book today. And I'm hoping you can share some insights for everybody listening on big data, who can take it, who should be interested in it, how they can take it, and then a little bit about Big Data Week at the end of it. What is Big Data, Yamalam? How, how would you sum it up? Well, that's uh, right away a, a very big question to start with um, because big data is so many things. Obviously, it has a lot to do with the volume and quantities of data that are being generated every day. And I think um, most uh, people will nowadays be familiar with that every step that they're taking in their lives, if they have a smartphone in their pocket, they're gen generating data somewhere across the world. And on average, uh, the average household nowadays has anywhere between 15 to 20 devices that are connected to the internet. So think about your tablets, your, your mobile phones, your computers, that, those are the obvious things. Then we get towards your, all, all your electronics, so your, your music devices, your televisions, but nowadays also refrigerators, uh, lightning, more and more, issue, um, more, more and more elements get connected to the internet every single day. And together we're creating tons and tons of data every single day. And that is all stored in data centers somewhere across the world. And this data contains a lot of value. So basically what big data is really looking at is how can we extract value from these massive data sets so that corporations and individuals can start making better decisions. So that's, that's kind of like the, 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 the summary of what we're trying to establish. And what kind of data can a fridge give you, Jan Willem? Well, that, that's a very interesting question, isn't it? Um, your fridge will keep track of what, what kind of products are you using? So uh, how much milk are you drinking? Uh, how, um, how many uh, bottles of Coke do, do you need? And, and nowadays, these modern systems don't only uh, do that, they will also start optimizing. So they're going to give you an, a notification saying, well, remember that you're almost running out of milk and um, uh, shall I already place an order for you? Amazing. Um, yeah, Milan, can you tell us about the big data framework and why you set it up, please? Yeah, absolutely. So um, big data framework is basically a methodology that helps organizations to structure how are we going to deal with these massive quantities of data? Because every organization is familiar with the fact that there's a lot of value in these data sets. But that doesn't make it easy to, easy to retrieve, retrieve it. It's, it's like finding this needle in the haystack. So you need to start thinking about how do we structure things? How do we deal with the tools that we would need to get uh, the value from data? How are we going to organize that? But also, what kind of people do we need? How do we structure our organization in such a way that we have adequate teams that are able to do this? So the big data framework is a capability model. So it's looking at different capabilities that exist and that an organization would slowly need to start building in order to become better at that. Because big data in essence, is a, it's a profession. It is something that requires day-to-day -day attention. And if you think that by just purchasing some tools or some, some technology, or maybe even some people that will do that, that you're going to get fabulous results, you're clearly mistaken. So it's a, it's a journey that you would need to start to embark on. And with the big data framework, we have identified which capabilities do organizations need? How do they set that up? And that is in a, a, like a one or two minute overview, what the whole framework is all about. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. When does someone know that they need to uh, look at big data training? and uh, big data certifications, what, what would be happening in their day-to-day -day work that tells them, right, this is where I need to get big data training? Yeah, well, um, let me start with taking one step back. And I, I think if you take one step back, I think that everyone realizes that uh, big data, data analysis, analytics are, are things that are probably going to stay with us for quite a long while. So um, if you take a look at why, what kind of audience and who should know a little bit more about that, I think that everyone that is working in an organization that, that processes data, that deals with the generation of te technology, should at least know a basic and fundamental oversight. You need to know a little bit about uh, how are organizations retrieving that value? How, how are they going to use that? 
but also uh, basic stuff around what is data security, what is data privacy, how do these things impact my day-to-day -day life. So I would say that within an organization at a basic and fundamental level, I would say that it is going to be applicable for everyone, whether you're mar in marketing, whether you're in finance, uh, most or organizations and people process data on a continual basis. So that means that getting an understanding of the basics is going to be uh, uh, beneficial to all. So that's one part of the audience. The other part of the audience is, of course, the specialists. So if you want to have the ability and capability to start building algorithms or to start analyzing these massive data sets, or for instance, to build an environment that is able to do that, then you would go for more specialistic certifications and really deepen your knowledge towards a more fundamental understanding of these different technologies. So yeah, it, it kind of depends on what you want. And it also kind of depends on how far are you willing to go in order to do that. So um, are there any special requirements for someone that wants to study big data? Well, uh, yes and no. So um, the easy answer is obviously going to be no. Um, it is going to be an entry level course and it's going to start from scratch. So even if you have never used an Excel or a computer in your life, then you're able to follow along and get an understanding of the fundamental basics. However, and typically what we see is that people who have affinity and are dealing with data problems in a more day-to-day -day, uh, uh, basis. So for instance, if you're trying to look at, well, you know, what is the best way in which I can spend my marketing money? What is the best way in which I can uh, start to predict what kind of products I would need to sell next month? What are ways in which I can get insights which will help me power my, uh, my decision-making? So people who are more busy with data on an, on an ongoing basis or on an ongoing basis, that is primarily the target audience because that is for whom a more in-depth knowledge and more in-depth review will be really beneficial. And so who do you think we should reach out to for training? Well, for, for, from a training perspective, I think um, if you look at the uh, more the business analysis departments of uh, uh, corporations, so think about banks, think about insurance providers, oil and gas, these are typically organizations that are processing lots and lots of data every single day. And they're also characterized by the fact that these are highly competitive industries. So making a 1% better decision can literally account to millions and millions of dollars. So for that reason, I would say that every um, um, process-oriented, uh, data-heavy organization is going to be a primary target audience for these uh, kinds of certifications and these kinds of training programs. So yeah, think about the big insurance providers, the big banks, uh, which are located everywhere across the world. What you seem to tell us is it's really all about visual storytelling, isn't it? It's really making... Uh, it's making sense and simplicity out of something that can be very, very complex. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I, I think that's the whole power of uh, a framework. It's the power of setting it up in a, in a structure that everybody understands. If I were to come to you and, and, and talk about, well, what is big data? And I'll go right into detailed uh, technical design of algorithms or kind of um, ways in which you need to structure databases and servers you're probably gonna go uh, screaming and go back to home. <laughs> but if I were to tell you, well, I, we can make, uh, so let's look at how you're currently spending your advertising dollars and can we not make a better prediction on what would give you a better return on your investment or how can you increase your sales or how can we make sure that your customers are gonna be clicking on your advertisings for sure, then I probably have your interest. About being able to translate this towards real business problems and that you are able to showcase what you can do with these data sets. And I think that's, that's one of the key areas that a lot of organizations uh, go into the wrong way is that they, they start with purchasing fancy technology, they hire a couple of data scientists, and then they think they're gonna be successful with big data. It's actually the opposite of a side around. You, knew, you first need to start defining what, what is it that I want to get out of this? What is going to be my strategy? What is going to be the value that I would need? And if you don't have answers to those questions, that's where you need to start. So I've heard as we've gone through this that, that big data is really relevant to so many people. Um, it sounds like it's, um, it's about the planning, it's about the implementation, 
um, and it's about the simplicity of it. So um, that's been really, really interesting, Yamalim. Thank you very much. And um, I know that you're planning on doing Big Data Week um, very, very shortly. So hoping you can tell us a little bit about that and how people can get involved. Big Data Week is an initiative that we launched a couple of years ago, and it's really a week that we put completely uh, in focus of big data professionals, people who are interested in big data and companies that would like to showcase some innovative solutions that they've developed in, in big data. So we're having organized a number of different activities. We're, ho uh, we're hosting a fireside chat with some of the experts. We have, are launching a number of new videos and recordings. So yeah, it's going to be an, um, an absolutely amazing uh, week that is going to uh, uh, connect a, a number of different participants from a variety of different fields. For everyone who's interested, please get in contact with us uh, and we would be happy to feature your case study or your story during Big Data Week.